In this video, we will explore the detailed anatomy of the temporomandibular joint, delving into its functional aspects, common disorders, and the significance of its role in dental and overall oral health. We will begin with an introduction to the temporomandibular joint. We'll then delve into the detailed examination of the three distinct articular surfaces, the temporal bone, the articular disc, and the mandibular head, elucidating their unique structures and functions. Following this, we'll explore the joint capsule and the supporting ligaments, emphasizing their role in stabilizing and facilitating movement of the temporomandibular joint. The muscles of mastication will be examined next, focusing on their contribution to the complex jaw movements and their coordination in various functions such as chewing and speaking. We will also shed light on the TMJ's anatomical relations, explaining how its positioning and connections influence nearby structures, including nerves and blood vessels. Finally, we will conclude with an exploration of applied anatomy, where we will investigate the clinical correlations, discussing common disorders such as temporomandibular joint ankylosis, their diagnostic approaches, and potential treatment strategies. The temporomandibular joint is a bilateral, synovial joint situated at the juncture where the condylar process of the mandible articulates with the mandibular fossa and the articular eminence, tubercle, of the temporal bone. The superior discotemporal cavity and the inferior discomandibular cavity, separated by the biconcave articular disc, play pivotal roles in the biomechanics of the temporomandibular joint. This articular disc functions as a cushion, effectively distributing the forces generated during jaw movements and minimizing friction between the articulating surfaces. Notably, the disc adapts its shape to accommodate diverse jaw movements, contributing to the seamless functioning of the joint. Innovation of the temporomandibular joint is predominantly supplied by the mandibular nerve, the largest branch of the trigeminal nerve. This nerve assumes a crucial role in both sensory and motor functions, orchestrating coordinated jaw movements by delivering essential signals to the muscles involved in various jaw activities. The temporomandibular joint exhibits a remarkable range of movements, encompassing elevation and depression, protrusion and retraction, as well as lateral movements of the lower jaw. These movements are indispensable for efficient mastication, clear speech, and a diverse array of facial expressions. Clinical considerations related to the temporomandibular joint hold significant importance in dentistry and maxillofacial practices. Disorders such as temporomandibular disorders can arise from impairments in the joint's function, manifesting symptoms like pain, restricted jaw movement, and audible noises during joint motion. The articular surfaces of the temporomandibular joint are characterized by the presence of fibrocartilage, a resilient tissue rich in collagen fibers. This unique composition contributes to the joint's ability to withstand mechanical stress and facilitate smooth movements. Integral to the formation of the temporomandibular joint are two primary bones, the mandible, a prominent facial bone, and the temporal bone, a key component of the cranial skeleton. Together, these bones create the intricate structure of the temporomandibular joint, allowing for its versatile range of motions. The articular surface of the temporal bone is multifaceted, consisting of two essential components, the mandibular fossa and the articular tubercle, also known as the eminence. The mandibular fossa provides a concave region for the articulation with the head of the mandible. Complementing this, the articular tubercle enhances the joint stability and functionality. At the core of the temporomandibular joint's articulation is the head of the mandible, recognized as the mandibular condyle. This specialized structure serves as the primary articulating surface, engaging with the mandibular fossa and articular tubercle during jaw movements. The articular disc of the temporomandibular joint plays a crucial role in facilitating smooth and coordinated movements within the joint. Composed of fibrocartilage and adopting a biconcave shape, this specialized structure is intricately connected to the inner surface of the articular capsule through the anterior and posterior meniscal ligaments. Within the articular disc, three distinct parts contribute to its complex functionality. The anterior band, characterized by its thickened anterior portion, interacts dynamically with the mandibular condyle during jaw movements. Similarly, the posterior band, featuring a thickened posterior portion, complements the joint's biomechanics. Between these two bands lies the intermediate zone, a thinner central section that contributes to the adaptability of the disc during various jaw actions. Positioned strategically between the mandibular condyle and the temporal bone, the articular disc serves a pivotal role in the structural division of the temporomandibular joint. 
effectively splitting the joint into two separate synovial cavities, the disc creates both superior and inferior cavities. Each of these cavities is lined with its own synovial membrane, ensuring proper lubrication and minimizing friction during jaw movements. The joint capsule of the temporomandibular joint is an intricate and well-coordinated double-layered structure featuring an inner synovial membrane and an outer fibrous capsule that collectively contribute to the joint's functionality and stability. The fibrous capsule envelops the entire temporomandibular joint, creating a notably loose but essential covering. Its origin from the margins of the mandibular fossa and insertion at the neck of the mandible, specifically above the pterygoid fovea, underscores its comprehensive coverage. As the fibrous capsule extends laterally, it strengthens and gives rise to the temporomandibular ligament, a crucial component enhancing the joint's lateral stability. In contrast, the synovial membrane is distinctive for each cavity within the temporomandibular joint and is intricately connected to the lateral aspects of the articular disc. This synovial membrane lines the inner surface of the joint capsule, playing a pivotal role in the production of synovial fluid. This fluid serves as a multifaceted agent, functioning both as a lubricant and a nutrient source for the structures within the joint. The presence of synovial fluid ensures smooth and frictionless movements during various jaw actions, contributing significantly to the overall health and functionality of the temporomandibular joint. The temporomandibular joint is reinforced and stabilized by several ligaments, each contributing to specific aspects of jaw movement and joint integrity. Here are key ligaments associated with the temporomandibular joint, the lateral temporomandibular ligament, a robust structure located on the lateral aspect of the fibrous joint capsule. It originates from the lower articular tubercle of the zygomatic arch and inserts into the lateral surface of the mandibular neck. This ligament is essential for restraining jaw closure and preventing posterior dislocation of the joint during mandible retraction. In contrast, the sphenomandibular ligament is a thin and flat ligament positioned medially to the joint capsule. Originating from the spine of the sphenoid bone, it inserts into the lingula of the mandibular foramen, acting as a restraint and limiting excessive translational movements of the condyle when the mouth is opened beyond 10 degrees. As for the stylomandibular ligament, it originates from the styloid process of the temporal bone and inserts into the posterior margin of the jaw angle. This ligament plays a crucial role in limiting excessive protrusive movements of the jaw, contributing significantly to the overall stability and controlled motion of the temporomandibular joint. Collectively, these ligaments ensure the integrity and functionality of the temporomandibular joint during various activities. The muscles of mastication and the temporomandibular joint share a closely intertwined relationship, with these muscles being pivotal for the movement and function of the temporomandibular joint. Key muscles involved in jaw movement during activities like chewing and biting include the temporalis, masseter, lateral pterygoid, and medial pterygoid muscles. These muscles collaboratively execute a range of movements crucial for temporomandibular joint function. Their coordinated action ensures effective mastication, speech, and other jaw-related activities. Moreover, their contribution extends to maintaining the stability and proper alignment of the temporomandibular joint, playing a vital role in overall oral and facial function. Jaw movements are intricate, involving both rotational and translational actions primarily orchestrated by the mandible. These movements play a fundamental role in various functions such as mastication, speech, and facial expressions. Here are key movements associated with the jaw. Rotational movements include elevation. This denotes the upward movement of the mandible, typically occurring during the closing phase of the jaw when the teeth come together. And depression. This refers to the downward movement of the mandible, commonly observed during the opening phase of the jaw when the mouth is lowered. In contrast, Translational movements are associated with the movement of the articular disc within the temporomandibular joint and includes protrusion or protraction. This movement entails the forward and downward translation of the mandible, facilitating movements like thrusting the jaw forward. Retrusion or retraction. It is the opposite of protrusion, involving the backward and upward movement of the mandible, returning the jaw to a neutral or closed position. And lateral deviation. This movement allows the mandible to move laterally or from side-to-side -side movements of the jaw. The temporomandibular joint exhibits intricate anatomical relations with surrounding structures, encompassing nerves and blood vessels. The superior and posterior anatomical relations are as follows. The superior aspect of the temporomandibular joint is in proximity to the brain. 
Posterior to the temporomandibular joint lies the ear canal and the tympanic part of the temporal bone. The medial anatomical relations of the temporomandibular joint involve the trigeminal nerve, along with its branches, and the chorda tympani, a branch of the facial nerve, the maxillary artery and its branches. The sphenomandibular ligament. And the medial pterygoid muscle. Lastly, the lateral anatomical relations of the temporomandibular joint involve the superficial temporal artery and vein, the superficial parotid and preauricular lymph nodes, and the auriculotemporal nerve and facial nerve, along with its branches. Common disorders affecting the temporomandibular joint include temporomandibular joint ankylosis, a condition characterized by the permanent restriction of jaw movement, resulting in an oral opening of less than 30 mm. This limitation often stems from various underlying factors, with trauma, infection, and inflammation ranking as the most common causes in order of frequency. The temporomandibular joint ankylosis can have profound consequences, particularly in children, as it has the potential to disrupt normal mandibular growth, potentially leading to facial deformities. The primary approach for managing temporomandibular joint ankylosis involves surgical intervention. Postoperative rehabilitation assumes a crucial role in optimizing outcomes, aiding patients in regaining normal jaw function and restoring an adequate oral opening. In conclusion, understanding the temporomandibular joint is crucial for comprehending its intricate anatomy and functions. This bilateral, synovial joint connects the mandible to the temporal bone and encompasses complex structures, including articular surfaces, the articular disc, and surrounding ligaments. The mandibular nerve, a branch of the trigeminal nerve, plays a pivotal role by providing sensory and motor functions to the temporomandibular joint, ensuring coordinated jaw movements. The temporomandibular joint allows for various movements, including elevation, depression, protrusion, retraction, and lateral movements. These movements are essential for activities such as mastication, speech, and facial expressions. Disorders like ankylosis can impact jaw movement, highlighting the need for a multidisciplinary approach involving surgical intervention and postoperative care to achieve optimal outcomes.